Here at the North East Wolverhampton Academy, we covered two units over two years. Year 10, health and safety within the construction industry. Year 11, painting and decorating techniques. In year 10, we make it as realistic as possible in practical sessions. We cover the basics of bricklaying techniques covering all aspects of health and safety, teamwork, PPE, risk assessment, levelling, gauging, plumbing and ranging of bricklaying walls. Students construct a range of different models from a basic pyramid wall to an English bomb wall, incorporating all the basic skills learned over the prior 12 weeks. When we first went to the workshop, we put our PPE on and then we set our workstation up, collected the bricks and the compo, and then we built a small pyramid, checking that it was level. When I first started, I found it hard, but as I went along and learnt all the new techniques, and it started to get a bit easier. Yeah, I'd recommend it to other students. It's, it's a good thing to do, it's fun, and it's, it's a good trade when you're older. In year 11, students look at, look at different types of decorating through demonstration and practice. All basic paint and decorating skills are covered, which include, again, health and safety is repeated because it's most important, correct procedure when using step ladders and hop-ups, the importance of preparation, how to measure cut lengths of paper, how to read data from rolls of wallpaper, paper and in techniques, cross-lining techniques, the correct sequence of paint in a variety of different types of doors, difference of oil-based and water-based paints, but most of all, we enforce the importance of teamwork. It's a good trade to get into paint and decorating and it's interesting to do something new all the time. I find it easy because I've had like um, 12 weeks of training from Timkins and we um, saw how we progress through the 12 weeks. At the North East Wolverhampton Academy, we make working in the salon as realistic as possible. During practical sessions, we cover all aspects of basic hairdressing. We learn about health and safety, teamwork, personal protective equipment, risk assessment, blow drying, thermal styling techniques, roller setting and plaiting techniques. Students practice a range of styling techniques in the salon, initially working on training heads and moving to clients as their confidence grows. I collected my client and then I put a PPE on and I sat her at a workstation and we discussed what she wanted doing. And she decided that she wanted her hair straightened, so that's what I did. It makes you feel more independent, like having to do someone else's hair and making sure it's right and it boosts your confidence to be able to talk to other people and communicate more.